Hey everybody, I'm Chris. And I'm Samantha. And currently we're in the Kofa Mountains and we're on our way out to... The Lost Dutchman State Park in outside of Phoenix, Arizona. We wanted to split up the drive so we took off late at night, stopped in Kofa, and now we're headed off to Phoenix. And we wanted to make another video. In this video, we want to share our top five upgrades. And accessories, things that we bought aftermarket basically. Yeah, to make it a little more comfortable inside the trailer. If videos like this are something that you're interested in, we have a great list compiled and we're open to suggestions as well, but we think that this content is something that can really benefit you if the RV lifestyle is something that you're interested in. Yeah, so if that's something that works for you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, follow along our journey. Also, if you like this video, it helps if you hit the like button. Yes, please. With that being said, we're gonna head off to Phoenix and we will get this video started for you guys. Greetings from the Lost Dutchman State Park outside of Phoenix, Arizona. It is currently hot. Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we arrived here and it is Labor Day weekend. We thought, oh, you know, it'll probably be pretty busy, but no? I guess Arizonians, Arizonians? <laughs> Arizonians? I don't, I don't know what they're called, but apparently they don't like to camp in the extreme heat and we don't blame them. No. Anyways, in this video, what we want to do is show you guys you know, we've been doing the RV thing for coming up on two years now. Uh, we've spent probably six months of those two years in the RV. Yes. And we've made some upgrades or purchased some yes. different accessories. That we felt added to the comfort and being in the RV. Um, it just provided us with the ability to actually work from the RV and do school from the RV and just made it to where we want to be in the RV. We want to spend time out in nature and these things just help us to feel safer, more confident and more comfortable. And more connected. And, and we'll show you which one that is. <laughs> All right guys, let's get number one out of the way. It is not sexy, it's not cool, it's tires. My number one upgrade was upgrading our stock tires that came with the RV to these Carlisle tires. We did all five tires earlier, actually last summer we did all five. So that's the four here plus the one spare on the back. We went with the Carlisles after looking at a bunch of different reviews of different tires and the Carlisles so far have been absolutely fantastic. The reason I chose tires is number one, I don't know if it's a safety dang kind of thing or what, but I sleep a little better knowing that the wife, the kids, were all a little bit safer when we're driving down the street pulling the RV. Hey everybody, just a little bit of a background on me. I am a very light sleeper. I have a really hard time falling asleep, I have a really hard time staying asleep, and one of my biggest pet peeves about sleeping is that when the sun comes up, I come up with it. So as soon as light hits me, that's it, I'm done for, I'm awake. So that brings us to this upgrade. So these are clear, non-tempered, non-treated windows, which you would think, why would you go from a treated window to a non-treated window? And the reason is, I wanna be able to see out this door, but I wanna also be able to close the blinds at night so that way the sun doesn't come in. It was before where I was making Chris close his side of the door and trying to do my best to keep the light from coming in, now I just close this shade and we're all good. My one negative or drawback about this particular system is that it has the accordion uh, shades. And as you can see, sometimes they don't wanna bend quite right. But because this is very tight in here, it still goes up and it still holds. So overall, very happy with this upgrade. It helps me to sleep a little bit better, but then also when I'm getting ready and making breakfast in the morning, gives me just one more window to look out. All right guys, we're on to upgrade number three. This time earlier in Sedona, we decided to do an upgrade to our existing vent that we had, and we installed a fan. We went with the fantastic fan. 
the great thing about this fan, it comes with a remote control. So we can just control it right from here while we're laying in bed. Uh, it's got a built-in thermostat so we can set a temperature and the fan will adjust. Another great feature is once we hit a button here, the lid just automatically opens and it has rain sensors. If it starts raining outside, the lid closes. It also has reversible airflow so we can either suck air out of here or suck air in, which is fantastic, no pun. Anyways, this has been a really great upgrade when we're dry camping. This runs off at 12 volts, so we can crank it at full speed, suck air out, and it provides us with some noise along with some great airflow on our faces while we're sleeping. And for that reason, we love it. This brings us to our fourth upgrade. And I don't know if you've caught on that there's a theme here. Um, and a lot of it has to do with me being able to sleep, like I said before. <laughs> so we have the, the uh, window and the shade and we have the fan. And now we have the foam topper on the mattress. So anyone who slept on an RV mattress knows that they are not the most comfortable. So when we first slept on this, I realized that there was going to be no way I was going to be able to spend nine weeks on this mattress. So we went on Amazon, we bought a three inch gel swirl foam topper and it has holes for breathability and it was less than $100 on Amazon. It was delivered to our house and it is absolutely fantastic. This is actually my preferred bed now. My bed at home, not anything near what this bed is for me. So I look forward to coming into the RV and sleeping soundly at night in nature in my super, super, super comfortable gel topper mattress. Okay, coming up to our fifth upgrade, probably the most important one that we've made. Yeah, yes. Also the most expensive one we've made. Yes is this guy right here. This is called the WeBoost 4G signal extender. Yes. Something very close to that. <laughs> it's made by WeBoost and what it does is it boosts the signal of your 4G LTE phone. So the reason this is important is a lot of times we're dry camping I'll be honest, sometimes we use this at RV parks. A lot. Actually a lot. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the Wi-Fi signal at an RV park is terrible. Samantha and I both work from the road. So this is our lifeline when we're in the RV. Yeah. This upgrade costs about $500. There's an antenna that they will install on the roof. There's wiring that comes down and in. The nice thing is it is on a long eight foot cable, 10 foot cable. And so what we do is we take it, we put it right next to our phone, we connect the hotspot on our phone to our devices, and because the phone is getting a better 4G signal, it sends out a better signal hotspot to our laptops, which yeah. lets us work. Yeah, and the kids can do school, I can do my work, and I run a lot of big programs for my job. So it's a good signal, it allows me to do everything that I need to do, um, and really we've only ever had a couple of issues where we weren't able to connect um, and that was just because we were really in a dead zone. So it is fantastic. I love this thing. Yeah, and it does work 100%. Oh, yeah. If you're standing outside, you might have one bar. You come inside and literally I will lay my phone up on it and it'll jump up to three bars. Mm -hmm. So I know for a fact it does work. I've encouraged a few friends to buy it. They all say they love it. We'll drop a link down below if you wanna get one for yourself, but I think it's a must have if you decide to work from the road. Yeah. It's worth it. It is, it is definitely worth it. Just do it! <laughs> <laughs> so we just got back from Phoenix a little earlier today. We had a fantastic time. We really did, it was a great experience. We got to spend some time with family and friends, and we spent a lot of time in the pool. Oh yeah, a lot of water time. It was pretty hot out there, but not as hot as it was here in LA, actually. Yeah, surprisingly, we <laughs> left LA, went to Phoenix to get away from the heat. So anyways, we hope you found this video informative. If you're new to RVing or just kind of getting into it, our top five upgrades, uh, I think they would work for pretty much everybody. Yeah, I think that, you know, if you're just looking to have fun or you're looking to do it more on a full-time basis, 
those upgrades are really going to improve your quality of life in your RV. Absolutely. If you're interested in any of the products we've shown in the video, the links are down below, other than the tires. Go to your tire shop for those. But everything else <laughs> is down below. We've provided Amazon links to everything. As we said at the beginning of the video, uh, we have a lot of content planned for you guys. So we're gonna try to come out with videos as often as we possibly can. Um, and so if you wanna be part of this community and you wanna learn more about the RV lifestyle, please subscribe subscribe and you'll be included in all that and if you like this content hit the like button if you don't and you have feedback for us we'd love to hear that too we are in this to build communication back and forth between us so we're doing this as a labor of love guys and we'll see you guys next week with a new video about the two things that we never ever leave home without so if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to subscribe and check us out next week. See you guys. Bye.